I'd now like to introduce our event co-chair, Olin Anton. Now, Olin is a retired managing partner for Deloitte in BC and retired chair of the CPABC. He is currently the president of Ocera Investments, and he sits on the board of the CPA Western School of Business. In his two years as the gala co-chair, Olin has not only sold out this event, he has managed to do so within two weeks. Well done, Olin. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Olin Anton to the stage. Well, thank you, uh, Stephen. It's not hard to sell out an event when you have four great inductees and when you've got a great team behind you. So thank you for that. Uh, first of all, it's a great honor to be here this evening. As you know, we've come together to acknowledge and celebrate the business leaders who have achieved the highest level of excellence in their field and have qualified for this honor through their demonstration of our four cornerstones, vision, leadership, integrity, and legacy. Leadership is one of the primary themes of this evening. We celebrate past laureates, this evening's inductees, and the students, the JABC mentors for the future. By attending the gala this evening, you are supporting the goals and objectives of Junior Achievement of British Columbia and the future leaders of our province. In a few moments, you're going to hear from a group of young leaders who have benefited from JABC. You may not be aware, but 100% of the proceeds raised from this event go to supporting JABC and its mission to inspire and prepare BC youth for success. Thanks to the financial support of donors like you, JABC is able to partner with educators and volunteers from the business community to deliver free, interactive learning experiences into BC classrooms. With the assistance of over 800 volunteers, JABC delivered almost 1,500 programs to over 40,000 students across the province last year. These programs develop critical financial literacy skills, work readiness skills, and spark the entrepreneurial spirit of our youth, and that is the most important element. Without a doubt, JA program graduates have an advantage. They are better prepared to enter the workforce and positively contribute to our economy. In fact, studies show that JA students, JA graduates, are three times less likely to spend more than they earn. So I think we should put all politicians through this program too. Three times more likely to hold senior and middle management positions. 50% more likely to start their own business. And we all know that small and medium businesses are the heart and soul of the economy in British Columbia. I think you would agree with me that JABC's efforts are important to our economy, and these are pretty remarkable results. 